Hi everyone, I am Milan Kranti, 4th year BTEC Ithrak Electrical Engineering student. As a part of medical image course, today I am giving presentation on research paper Ada Boosted Deep Assembles Getting Maximum Performance Out of a Small Training Dataset, published on 11th International Workshop MLMI 2020. As, as we know, due to its out, outstanding performance, convolution neural network CNN applied to a wide range of imaging application, but they typically required large amount of uh, high quality training data to prevent overfitting and uh, improve accuracy. In case of medical image segmentation, often difficult to collect large data set, typically for rare disease such as skull based chordoma tumors. So, getting good performance even in a small data set is still challenging task in medical image. In this paper, Propose a deep assemble method that learns multiple models training using a leave one out strategy and predict the output for test data through the boosting strategy. The proposed model was evaluated on Cordoma brain tumor segmentation using three well known CNN architecture VNet, UNET, and feature pyramid network. The beauty of the proposed assemble model is that it can apply to any neural network based segmentation method to improve accuracy job learning from a small size data set. Before directly moving to methodology part, I would like to give brief introduction about assembles method. Basically, assemble method are techniques that create multiple models and then combine them to produce improved result. Here we can see M1, M2, M3 are different models and from M1 we get uh, uh, one uh, as a output and from M2 suppose we get to one and from M3 we get a zero. Then we are choosing here voting. Voting how much maximum voltage will the define the final output. So here two times the one and one times zero. So that final output of the, this prediction combined model which is the which is called the assemble model each one sometimes we also use uh, like uh, a probability types one is 60 percent to do it and we assemble and getting the um, average of this and final output like here given one so assemble methods usually produce more accurate solution than a single models and in boosting, each of model will learn from the mistake of previous model and try to minimize the error, keep moving forward sequentially. Yeah, that is the beauty of the boosting techniques. First, in first model, we will uh, try to whatever the error is given, whatever the uh, not uh, predict the true value, then we will only. Uh, think about that and uh, we find the correct value in M2 models like sequential models and from mistake from previous model we will to find out the we will to try to solve this mistake in uh, um, future models methodology so in this paper Cordoma brain tumor data set was used basically 
Chordoma is a rare type of tumor that usually appears in bone near the spinal cord and skull base, which consists 22 scan of only 8 patient. Means from one patient, one to five scan was taken, where two scan was separated by three to six months. And all image were acquired from Siemens 1.5 DMRI scanners. And each scan consists of five contrast D1, W, post contrast D1. T2W flare and post crash contrast flare, which is called flare C. And in this um, workshop, in this paper, only they taken flare and flare C uh, contrast image. To define a conical. Uh, shape means 3d shape uh, the mni atlas template was used and uh, all flare image of 22 scans were registered to this template image the corresponding flare c image were also placed in same space by using the same transformation from player Finally, the intensity of each image was in independently normalized in the range between 0 to 1. To demonstrate the proposed assembled approach is not specific the particular CNN approach. Applied assembled approach to three well-known CNN architecture, VNet, UNIT, and uh, FPN. The hyperparameter of all networks were the same, like learning rate 0 0.0001 and uh, ADAM optimizers with tokens with uh, focal lo loss as a loss function and uh, batch size 16 and batch size is 22 cross 22 cross 22. It's like a 3D image. For assembling learning, uh, leave one out cross validation was conducted. Like here, we can see leave for one uh, out cross validation basically means we split uh, training data and validation data. Like here, we can see we take one edge validation data and uh, rest as a training data at i time i will take i at first time i will take s1 as a training validation data rest one is a training data and second type i will take s2 as a type then after taking with we also leave one out assemble for training we are taking only seven firstly we take seven then i will only take six we also leaving from S1 from here like that and total we made uh, 168 training for each of the models. They perform a weightage average uh, inspired by AdaBoost where the weight parameter alpha are calculated based on accuracy matrix of classifier. Finally, we predict output of this from this formula. Yeah, basically, what I did is uh, we are giving this alpha as a weightage. If suppose this model, this model, this model is giving good high accuracy, then I will take alpha is uh, very high for that. Suppose this model is giving very low accuracy is predicted not good then i will give the low accuracy this file decided by the matrix is of the classifiers and for the accuracy of finals i calculated by this 
formula where you can see the alpha is directly is very high then means we are calculating very high dominating result the training was performed on 16 core intel intel and for nvidia geforce 20 ethan the overall and they took uh, approx 9 days for all three networks here we can see output of three different subject with uh, and without proposed model here red and yellow arrows show false positive and false negative respectively clearly we will say that assemble uh, models improved uh, accuracy for the this image here we need all means without the assemble techniques and we not yen means uh, with the assemble techniques also here quantitatively evolution was performed using five matrix of segmentation to emer namely this dice similarity sensitivity positive predict value relative absolute value difference ra bd and apre symmetric surface distance and here we can clearly see the assemble based training was effective in learning from very small atlas set only in only seven subject indicate by 27 percent 70 percent and three percent improvement of dice for up unit B net unit and FPN respectively. So overall, we observe that CNN cannot generalize values in a small data set because of inconsistent data or ground to truth. But assembles of model giving good improvement. The assemble of model assuming leave one cross validation provides robustness and good result to the training mm -hmm. this idea can easily be extended for cape hold cross validation like uh, leaving out two or three atlas but cost training time will increase due to the computational expense of this model unlikely to be limitation in most applications so thank you